Okay, if you guys are here, um, you might have been watching my previous recording on how to set up and install Android Studio, and you likely got the error message um, that I was showing at the end, and we have this message I'll put up here on the screen, and regarding needing to install Intel HAXM -H um, properly, okay? Takes us to a GitHub site um, to go ahead and read the instructions uh, and all. So we'll pull that up. Here's the GitHub site. And I've scrolled down to the steps to actually do it manually. So let me scroll back up. So you have a couple options here. And uh, once you go to the GitHub site, you can do it um, by downloading it or doing it standalone. Uh, downloading it through your installation manager here, if that's one option. But I'm going to do it standalone. And by standalone, you're going to go to the releases page, which is over here. And then you're going to get the version for your operating system, which I've already downloaded, so I've got mine for my Windows environment. Um, I've then gone to my downloads folder and I unzipped it. So I right clicked and unzipped it to this folder here. Um, so you see it's there in the unzipped folder. And then I'm going to run the setup. And by double clicking, I'll run the setup. It's going to prompt me to allow changes on my other screen. Um, and I will choose yes. Uh, and here is the installation screen. I'm going to agree to the license term and it's going to warn me that, hey, in order for this to work though, there's some other settings on my computer that I have to make um, in order for it to load it for use. Hit OK. Um, when it's done, it's telling me I need to disable Microsoft Hyper-V. Um, to do that, we have to go into our add and remove options of our Windows features from our control panel. If you just type in your search, um, you can get the Windows Features Add and Remove um, window to pop up. Okay, And this is what that looks like. What we're going to look for is this option here, Windows Hypervisor Platform. We need to uncheck that and hit OK. Um, and once we do that, those features are going to turn themselves off with the Windows Installation Manager. And then your Intel HX, HAXM should be good to go. Um, of course, you're going to have to restart your computer. At the point that I do that, um, it's going to go ahead and uh, stop this recording. So what we'll do is I'll restart this now, um, and then hopefully everything works correctly for you guys and uh, that you found this useful. Thank you.